Hello everyone, just wanted to uh, take some time to kind of give you a little introduction on how I use the subdivision modeling in Gravity Sketch to create this uh, kind of organic tube frame looking uh, object here. I've had quite a few questions about it um, based off of some of my uh, Instagram posts and some of the other images and, and stuff like this I've done in the past. So I thought this might be a good time uh, to show you some of those. So these are just a few examples of some of the organic tube frame things I've done over the last few years. Uh, not all completely in Gravity Sketch, but all sort of illustrating uh, what you can do with uh, subdivision modeling to create this type of structure. Uh, and then this is a good time to get into kind of some of the basics of subdivision modeling. Um, and I'll just show you how I go about uh, creating something like this. So. It's pretty simple, actually. I really just I was actually just starting with with this kind of speed form sketch here, um, maybe doing some sort of hover car or something. Uh, and I got into thinking about how um, some of the frame and components might package uh, underneath this form. Uh, so what I did was created this this rough tube frame. Um, it's really simple. All I did was start laying out some uh, curves with the stroke tool here. Uh, just kind of free form, leave it on on round or or you can do square. It doesn't really matter. Uh, make sure your symmetry's on, and then just start kind of pulling them out. I do like to um, come in and just make them kind of uh, uh, straight lines. Um, this is just to kind of help um, when I'm editing them and moving them around. Uh, so I can lay out some some frame rail or something here. You can even change the thickness of them. Maybe you want something more sturdy you know, along the, the bottom of the car here. And you can just start connecting them and getting getting a rough layout of where you think some of these uh, objects might go in the future. You don't have to straighten them. Uh, I just like to, uh, just so I can line up some of these points. You know, maybe you start building out something like this. Uh, it's really up to you. I'm just kind of ideating at this, at this stage, uh, just kind of pulling out um, tubes that I think might kind of capture uh, a nice in interesting structure for this and you can spend as much or as little time as you want doing this you know maybe we'll throw something up the middle here um, branch off of that or you can copy and paste them create start to create like a, a central tube here and again, this is just ideating, coming up with forms and, and kind of a, a rough rough idea of where you want things. So once you get that in place, uh, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward to jump to the next phase of that, and that's um, starting to use the primitive cube. Uh, so I'll just hide this. Uh, you don't really need to see that process. It's just really drawing out curves. Um, and then what I ended up with, just like I showed you before, is this. And again, this is just a rough idea of where I think I might like things. Uh, and then that ended with this. Obviously, it's quite different from this underlying frame. Um, but I got there. We'll just use this layer here. We'll make this kind of transparent. I'll just change this color so I can see it a little bit better and make it a little darker. Then I'll come over to this layer here. You can hide some of this stuff, but I leave the sketch active just so I can make sure I'm not blowing through uh, some of the theoretical surfaces and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, we'll get into the subdivision tools here. So I come down to the primitives, and then just hit subdivision object, and I will choose this cube, and then just bring it into the scene. I'm just gonna change the color. Uh, I'll just choose that one. That's what I had before. And from here, I'll just scale it down. So I think it's about the right size of one of these tubes. And then it's just a matter of, um, oops, Let's make sure that's on the right layer. Yep, make sure that's the active layer. And then we'll just come in and edit this uh, subdivision object. I'll just grab the face here. Oop, if I can. Grab the face here, or the points, doesn't really matter. Um, and bring it out like that. Now I will actually delete this face. I'll turn on loop mode. That's not loop mode, they moved it. <laughs> this is loop mode up here, sorry. Uh, that way, when I hover over this edge, it grabs the entire um, area there. And then I'll just right pull with my grip. 
uh, right pull the trigger and just start extruding out another shape. We'll do that again. Then we'll do that one more time here until we get to the center. That's good. And now you've got this rough structure kind of built out. Um, it's again very blocky right here, but once you turn on subdivision, you'll see here, we'll bump it all the way up, it smooths between everything. So all these points you laid out, uh, it's using them to, to kind of interpret a smoothness uh, for that curve. So say you wanted to kind of tighten up this area here, I'm just going to right pull on my trigger, add another loop close to that one, maybe one more right there, and now that creates kind of a, a tension point. We do another one back here as well. Um, and that just starts uh, setting up kind of your intersection areas. Um, I'm just going to toggle that off here and delete this front here because I know I'm going to need to do that later. But then to start making these other structures, all I do is come in, grab that face, and extrude it and pull it up to where I think it might want to go. Then I want to come over that way. We'll just kind of go past it a little bit. I'll just use edge loop to create another slice there. Grab that face, pull that up, add another one to come down to here. So you can see it's pretty pretty easy. I'm just kind of tracing the um, like the shape that I made before. And you don't have to be too worried about it being a perfect square or keeping its its squareness. This is going to be pretty organic and free flowing. And I'll just grab another one here. Um, maybe I'll just come at, at an angle here, add something else there. I'm just going to delete this face so I can snap it to the center here, like that. And you can go around and kind of manipulate some of your points. Maybe I'll have this kind of follow the same plan view and add some tension there. So now you can see it created this very um, structured look. Again, turn on subdivision and it gets nice and smooth between it. Um, say you don't want some of these bigger round areas, that's okay, just subdivide one more time right in the middle there. I'm just half pulling on the right trigger and it kind of, you can move the edge loop where you want it. So maybe I want some more tension down in this area here and then some up here. I'll just pull it again and add another loop up there and then same here. Maybe we'll make it tighter there and let it kind of blend out there. That looks pretty good. Um, then I think I want to bring this down and connect it there. I like to work in the um, kind of box mode or the unsubdivided mode just so I get a, a better view on where I'm placing some of these points. And let's delete, oops, turn that off, delete this face, and maybe I'll connect it here. I'll delete that face, turn on loop again, grab right, right grip and right trigger, and then we'll just snap these points here. Oop, that there, that there. Again, smooth it, see what it looks like. And we'll add a little tension right there. And this is, that's pretty much the same method um, over and over. You just keep doing that until you get something you like. Um, it's pretty good for just ideating, you know, creating sort of random forms and stuff like that. We'll just pull this up to the front. Maybe I'll just turn it. We'll just extrude another one here. I already know I, I want this to be a tighter corner, so I'll add some subdivisions there. Same with here. That way when I turn on smooth, you got a nice little break. We'll just toggle that off one more time. Oop, be careful with the, the auto select because it will, you can see it'll select that entire loop. I don't want to delete the entire face, uh, just a single one. So you will be kind of toggling between that a few times uh, just to kind of pull out some of these, these structures here. Maybe I'll have that taper there, like that. Uh, eventually I'll come back down to there, but I think what I want to do is I'll fill this hole like that, add a loop, pull this face off, come there, um, do that one more time. And then one more time here and connect that entire loop like that. I'll add a, a loop here and here just to add some tension and maybe one more there, one more here. 
And then I'm going to add one back here and one in the middle. I want this to be kind of pretty straight. Uh, and I'm going to add one more, yeah, maybe here and here. That way I can delete this face, delete this face, come and grab that loop, extrude, and just start attaching these points. Oop. That one there. I'll just add a loop to add some tension and there's that so you can see how pretty quickly you can get something interesting going on you know if you want to sketch out some ideas first and just kind of trace over it um, that's how you do that so I'm just gonna speed up through this it's the same exact process as you saw uh, all this happening but it's pretty fun because you can come in you know and then just grab all these points and start start manipulating them this way and you can start to get some interesting interesting forms going maybe we'll bring that towards the center we'll just uh, kind of do this organically I won't turn off the subdivision oops we'll drag out maybe drag out again just got to be careful with the smooth mode it likes to look a little weird and that's why I prefer to work in this mode but you know yeah that's that's what we get so Again, pretty straightforward and pretty easy. I hope that was um, informative. You know, we're using the power of the subdivision itself to create these kind of free-flowing, uh, nice organic forms here. Um, and that's kind of the basis of subdivision is, is the closer uh, points and edges are to one another, they kind of tighten up and um, create nice tension areas and, um, you know, acceleration points and stuff like that. So yeah, quick video. Hope you enjoyed that. I um, hope to be doing more of these kind of short, quick videos. I uh, hope these are useful. So enjoy, and uh, please leave your comments below um, if you want to see anything else or have any questions. All right, take it easy.